Do you think Britain should be working hand in glove with them on migrant policy? Um, thanks for having me. Um, no, I, I, I appreciate actually the fact that uh, Rwanda, having joined uh, in to, in the Commonwealth in 2009, has come to the extent of holding such an important uh, 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 heads of state meeting. Now, <laughs> the story you would think should be focusing on this great achievement that they have managed to achieve after what they went through 28 years ago. But of course, thanks to uh, their connection with uh, this Rwandan policy, the news is now being um, overshadowed by this, this, uh, this policy, which we now know is inhuman, uh, racist, and probably illegal. So to me, this is a case of Rwanda being sold down the river. You know, it's uh, being used like a uh, a mercenary in, a, in an argument about uh, refugees by the British government. Uh, I just wonder if we can put the other side of the story, which some people will be keen to press, Elenaeus, which is, I suppose, that by choosing Rwanda, and it's not just Britain which has signed memorandums of understanding uh, with Rwanda, the, the Danish government, led by centre-left governments, uh, exploring this as well. And in so doing... That they, they declare very publicly and globally that Rwanda, whatever you think about Rwanda from your personally bitter experience of the people in charge there, is a country to be taken seriously, to sign international accords with, is a grown-up country. Yes, I guess. Uh, in, in a country of, in a, in a country of, uh, of blind men, one, uh, one-eyed man is, uh, is, is king. That, that's, so goes the same. I mean, there is no doubt that, you know, Rwanda has made progress economically. But Rwanda is also a country that continues to have issues around press freedom, issues around civil and political rights, issues around renditioning its own citizens, issues around imprisoning journalists, not just myself, but imprisoning those that have actually tried to dare speak the truth in Rwanda, and also kidnapping and assassinating its own citizens that have tried to flee. So not long ago, and actually still currently, the British government is still offering asylum to people like myself and people who flee Rwanda. But somehow they are now telling us, because of this refugee crisis, that this country has somehow transformed so much in the last maybe a couple of years or one year to be a beacon or a beacon of, uh, of good leadership where People, the most, some of the most vulnerable people in this world that are fleeing persecution from their countries should be taken. I keep saying that some of these people will probably not find ish, uh, 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 situations dissimilar to what they, they fled once they get to Rwanda because it, it remains a repressive state, okay. the government remains uh, 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 a very autocratic state, and so much so on. Okay. It, is, it would be like a case of freeing North Korea to only end up in Eritrea.